Before we start today's episode of the Commissioner's Report, I wanted to let you know that we're at the Sheriff's Processing Center, and sometimes people have a hard time getting there. So we're showing some signs on screen that should help you get where you need to go. The next time you need to go to the Sheriff's Processing Center, look for these signs and follow them closely and you'll get where you need to be. Now, here's the show. Hi, Polk County. Welcome to the Commissioner's Report. I'm your host, Jeff Foley. And I'm joined today by Commissioner Bill Braswell and Chief Michael Allen, the Polk County Sheriff's Department of Detention. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Great to be here. Thank you. So Commissioner, what are we doing here today? What are we talking about? So I just wanted to show this facility off. It's been here a little over two years. Uh, it was intended, well, it did replace the uh, facility in downtown Bartow uh, where everybody gets processed in. The old facility was small. It was inconvenient. This place is centrally located in the population of the county. It's right off the Polk Parkway. Easy in, easy out. I just wanted to show it off. So Chief, what happens here? What is a booking facility? It's different from a prison or a jail, right? Right, so in this county, anyone who's arrested, and it could be any agency, not just the sheriff's office, but it could be a municipality, like Lakeland Police Department, Winter Haven, or even a state agency, they bring everyone here to be processed into our jail. So that's why we call it the Sheriff's Processing Center. We actually bring people here, we take their fingerprints, their photographs, make sure their, the crime matches what it should. If they're gonna stay with us, then we move them on to our housing facilities at the jails. And when was this facility open? In May of 2021. Commissioner, what was, can you tell me the commission's role was in getting this building built? Well, the sheriff came to us, said he needed funding to do it, and uh, we approved it. I mean, uh, we knew the necessity of it. Like I said, the other facility, uh, was just so old and so small, we had to do this. So we obviously needed a new facility, why? W what's different here? Well, um, that facility was attached to a building that was built in 1962. And the construction in 1962 is a whole lot different than 2021. Uh, the size of that old facility is about 11,000, give or take, take some, some square footage. Uh, so we're processing in roughly 30,000 a year and 30,000 out a year. And that's a lot of people to process through a small building. So one was the size. Two, as the commissioner mentioned, the location. As we see the northeast part of this county grow, uh, a lot of our um, arrests are taking place up there and we have to bring them to the facility. This is much closer to that. It's right off the parkway, it's off 98, it's off 540, so we're centrally located. In addition, we took the opportunity to go to their other places, ask them what did they like about their processing center and what they didn't like. If they told us what they like, we tried to incorporate it in this. If it's something they said, if we had to do it again, we wouldn't do that. We didn't put it here and we tried to, to make this as efficient as we can. So it's an open design. Used to be they would come in, be processed, and we would have to put them inside cells. Here, pretty much it's just an open bay and they sit there, they watch a monitor. It tells them, do you need to go to the nurse? Do you need to go uh, get fingerprinted? Do you need to, to do other things that pre-trial, so forth? That makes this process so much more efficient than trying to go and pull them out of a cell, take them where they need to go and put them back. Uh, a little less labor intensive here, and certainly a newer facility with newer technology, cameras, door um, control systems and so forth. I think we were talking before and there's actually kiosks where people check themselves in, am I correct in that? Yeah, so as we're standing here, we have um, the public entrance is to my left, then we have a bail bonds window, and behind that screen is where we process the people who um, have to register. So we have sex offenders that register here and felons that register here. Mm -hmm. And so there's separate entrances. Where do families go? Families go to our public entrance, which okay. is right here. So they're, they're able to be separate from felons? Yes. Okay. And can you tell me just a little bit more about what the bond and the, what happens at the bond and the registration windows? Well, when somebody comes, um, they're interviewed by what we call pretrial release. And if they're able to get a bond and they can get a hold of a family member, which we have phones in there for them to use, uh, they can call. Their family member would call a bondsman. A bondsman would come down here and post the bond. Once the bond's been posted, we process the person straight out of here. If that happens before, we have to move them to housing. They can start the process here. If we happen to have to move them to housing, then they bond out there. But this is a window exclusively for the bonds people to come in. They have a um, person that sits right there at the desk and they're able to, to converse with them about the charges and the amounts and so forth. So I understand there's been issues with people finding this facility. <clears throat> well, we are located at the landfill and most people consider De Castro Road the main entrance, which it is for the landfill. But before you ever get to the scales, there is a big sign that says Sheriff's Processing Center. There's one to the right and one to the left, and we're right before animal control. 
But what we see is sometimes people bypass that and they go on to the landfill. And of course, the landfill gets a little excited when people are looking to bond people out or <laughs> see people over here. So they have to send them back around. So if you come out here, just look for the signs and uh, it'll, it'll direct you where to go. Do you know the address off the top of your head? 7101 to Castro Road. And I know from when I came this morning, you pull in and you see the sign, take that quick left, don't look for another left. That's correct. So you said 30,000 people in and out each year. I mean, this place must be just bustling some days. Well, it is, um, but we've changed a little bit from, from the time we built it. Um, used to be we would, buy, we would process people in and out. Right now, we're just intaking here. And if someone's released from the facility, not this one, but our housing facility, it's at the Central County Jail, located at 2390 Bob Phillips Road. And is that a more efficient process? It is because of the distance between the jails and this facility and the process um, to bring them in. You really don't want to have people coming in the same door that they're going out. You know, you could get a little, might be some confusion there and the wrong person yeah. be in the wrong place. So here, just intake, there, just release. That's great. And what's, what's the phone number people can call for more information? It's 863-292-3400. Commissioner, anything you want to add before we wrap up, Chief? No, not really, other than the fact that it's a great building, uh, it serves a uh, great purpose uh, and uh, does it very efficiently and, and it's what we needed. I'm sure it's beneficial to get people in and out when they're going through some sort of crisis in their life and they may be in trouble. To get them, not have them sitting for two days straight and just to get them in and out is probably pretty helpful. Yes, sir. So we, we have a statute that says they can only be here for eight hours. So we have eight hours to get somebody processed. Um, this is not a housing facility. This is strictly just bring them in, process them, and move them on to housing if, that's, if they're going to stay in the jail system. Okay. Well, gentlemen, I appreciate the conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for this episode of the Commissioner's Report. Please check us out next time. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and like our social media.